John, I know there's a retirement party for you this evening, and I'm sorry I can't be there to thank you in person for all that you've done for PG&E. Uh, you have had an absolutely tremendous career here at the company. Your professionalism, your attention to detail, your work with your clients uh, has been truly spectacular. And I, I know that you've worked on a lot of complex issues, and the environmental area is one that's so important to the company, and your contributions will sincerely be missed. But more than that, I want to thank you for the contributions you've made to veterans uh, here at PG&E. You know, I met you early on. We had traded a few war stories together. Uh, but then you led by example uh, when you came and told me that you were going off on yet another deployment. My first reaction was, boy, at this stage of uh, your career, that really took a lot uh, to, to do that. Uh, but you went off. Uh, you did it. Uh, you had uh, a great um, deployment, uh, and then when you came back, you told me about it. And I still have the challenge coin that you gave me when you came back from that deployment. And I was so impressed with your commitment to our country that you were willing to go do that, uh, even though you had really made uh, your way here at PG&E that you didn't need to do that. And then you went further in the leadership role you played in getting the veterans ERG up and running and now to be one of our most successful ERGs uh, has just been uh, a incredible experience to watch and I, as a veteran myself I appreciate uh, what you've done. So John thanks for all that you've done for PG&E uh, and we really are going to miss you here uh, but we also wish you the best in your retirement.